Norway is at the forefront of environmental policies and commitment. The population is financially well-off, environmentally conscious and early adopters of new technology. Arkeshus and Oslo have the highest density of battery electric vehicles per capita in the world. The region is experiencing strong growth in population and business development. The transport sector is the biggest source of air pollution and climate gas emissions in Arkeshus and Oslo. This makes the region a perfect fit for the car industry and for zero emission fuel, like hydrogen. An Arkeshus County Council ambition is to have the region in the forefront of climate policy. By 2030, the aim is to reduce CO2 emissions by 50% from 1990 emission levels. The County Council of Akershus is committed to do our part to end the reign of fossil fuels. We are staunch supporters of hydrogen cars and electric vehicles. Together with the City of Oslo, we have laid the groundworks for investments in hydrogen cars and hydrogen infrastructure for about 400 million Norwegian kroners, and that's only the beginning. Several measures have already been put into place. For example, zero emission cars can use public transport lanes and therefore avoid traffic queues. They also receive tax reductions, free parking, charging, and are exempt from all road tolls. There are six hydrogen refueling stations in the Oslo region. The aim is to increase this number in the near future and be connected to the European network of hydrogen refueling stations. We have long experience with operating cars and stations on hydrogen. I would think therefore we are well prepared for introducing hydrogen cars on a commercial scale. The stations are very reliable, very easy to use and people seem to be able to use them without any hassle at all. Several of the stations have been developed using Norwegian technology, which includes efficient production, compression and refueling of hydrogen. Norway does not have its own car industry, but it is at the forefront of hydrogen research and development. Hynor Lidström is a hydrogen technology test centre in Akershus, which also includes educational facilities and a hydrogen refueling station. To date we have uh, had our station operating for about a year. So we've been producing hydrogen regularly for fuel cell vehicles that come here and fill. Uh, and then lately we have been commissioning some alternative technology on reforming and on hydrogen compression. Of course in addition we have built the whole infrastructure for testing also other hydrogen and fuel cell technologies. All hydrogen in the region is produced fossil free using hydropower, biogas or solar energy. Ruter, a public transport company in the region, has a goal of becoming climate neutral by 2020 and is therefore testing new technology. Five hydrogen buses are already in operation. A hydrogen strategy for Arkeshus and Oslo has now been adopted by the Arkeshus County Council. The strategy aims to introduce fuel cell electric vehicles to the population by 2015 and to obtain a well-functioning market by 2025 with petrol station chains offering hydrogen to 10,000 cars and 100 buses. The County of Akershus wants to be a predictable and proactive partner for the industry in taking the next steps towards a greener and fossil-free future. With fossil-free hydrogen production, a growing network of refueling stations, the world's best incentives, long-term commitment and an affluent and environmentally conscious market, Arkeshus and Oslo is a perfect target area for the deployment of fuel cell electric vehicles.